Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman, and we are back with our monthly sponsored video from Plex. And this month, we're going to take a look at how Plex is running on the Xbox these days, because there's been some significant improvements on the Xbox platform. Uh, namely, you can get HDR video working from your personal library now, and more recently, they added the ability to use pass-through audio, which means you can get your Atmos and Dolby True HD and your DTS HD audio to pass through the HDMI cable with no transcoding. It's getting very close to what we've seen with the NVIDIA Shield in the past, and I think the Xbox is very quickly becoming a great platform for Plex enthusiasts. So I wanted to step through some of the settings you might want to look at when getting this working, and we'll play through a few different scenarios playing back media from my personal library. Now, I do want to let you know in the interest of full disclosure, this is a paid sponsorship from Plex. However, they are not reviewing or approving what you're about to see before it was uploaded, and all of the opinions you're about to hear are my own. So let's get into it now and see how the Xbox is working with Plex these days. Now, we're going to be demoing this on an Xbox One S today, and this is the minimum specification required, but the one X and the Series S and X will do exactly what this One S is going to do when it comes to playing back 4K media. And I think that's really neat that you can squeeze some more value out of an older Xbox here. The older Xbox One console will not do everything this one can do because that one maxes out at 1080p, but the One S for media can do 4K. Now I'm gonna jump into the settings screen here first and I'll tighten up my shot here a little bit for you. And what we're gonna do is just first look at what it has detected for my television. So I'm gonna jump into TV and display options and go over to 4K TV details. And as you can see here, this TV supports most of what this Xbox can support with the exception of 50 Hertz content. So you can see that 24 Hertz is a go for our 24P movies. It can do that at both the 4K and lower resolutions. It also supports HDR10 and Dolby Vision. Now, HDR10 is supported with Plex, but right now Dolby Vision is not. Hopefully at some point in the future it will be. The NVIDIA Shield Pro these days can output Dolby Vision that's embedded in a file, but your Xbox will not be able to do that just yet. Now this screen will tell us what is detectable on this TV, but I do want to validate that these settings are locked in. So I'm going to jump out of that uh, detail screen and go over to video modes just to make sure everything is checked off here that I want. And of course I want 4K, I want HDR10, hopefully down the road I'll get my Dolby Vision. And of course we have 24 Hertz selected, which will put our TV into 24p mode. Now all of the settings that you're seeing here will look the same on other Xbox consoles, including the Series S and X. So I configured my Series X the same way I'm doing this One S down here, and all seems to be exactly the same from device to device. Now we're gonna back out of the general TV options and go over to volume and audio output. And this is where we have to enable the pass-through audio for our lossless audio format. So I'm gonna go over here to additional options, and you'll see here, if your Xbox is up to date, an option to turn on pass-through, and you're going to get this note when you enable it. It'll just give you some information as to what exactly it is you're doing, but I think if you are in search of this for Plex, you know exactly what you're doing here and we're going to pass that audio onto the receiver. Now this will not impact your games, just your media playback apps that support pass-through. This feature was added with the May update, so it's had some time to bake now, and so far in my testing, it's been working pretty well with Plex. Now I wanna jump over to Plex though and just go through my settings to verify a few things are ready to go, and then we'll test out a few different examples of media to see how it plays back on this Xbox. Now there is an active thread on the Plex forums about this pass-through feature, and if you are having trouble, this might be a good place to visit, and I've got a link to it down below in the video description. I highlighted this sentence here because your media does need to be directly playing in order for this pass-through feature to work, at least at the moment. And let me show you some things to validate or verify on your Plex server. We're gonna tap on my name there at the top and go over to settings. And I'm just gonna go over here to video first. And what I wanna make sure here is that 
Uh, our local quality is set to original. I also want to make sure that allow direct play is on along with direct stream and display mode switching. And that way we'll get all the features I'm about to demo to you working. And the display mode switching one is really important because this will ensure that your TV will switch into the right mode depending on the kind of media that you're playing. And this will get you to the right frame rate and the right HDR mode if you have media with HDR enabled. So let's take a look now and see how this works with a Blu-ray movie, a 4K Blu-ray movie that has HDR and a Dolby Atmos True HD lossless audio stream embedded in it. So we're gonna start off here with The Last Jedi. This is a 4K Blu-ray file, and this is a 24P HDR film, and it's already spun up here. And as you can see, uh, we switched out of 60 hertz to 24 hertz. We've got the HDR10 enabled here on the television, and it is getting the Dolby True HD audio passed over to the TV and to the receiver. Now upstairs I have a Series X plugged into an Atmos compatible receiver and everything switched into the proper mode as you can see here. So it is working by just passing through that audio without any kind of intervention. And we can also check my Plex server and see here that we are getting direct play on not only the video, but the audio as well. So we're pretty much getting that raw file delivered over the network without any transcoding going on. And this is something the Xbox wasn't doing up until very recently. All right, next up here, we've got a 1080p Blu-ray. As you can see, it switched into 24p for us. We're getting DTS HD audio. We'll verify that on the receiver as well. So you can see that that is getting the pass-through audio. Uh, of note here is that it turned off HDR because this is not an HDR piece of media, but it is running at 4K, and it does not appear as though the Xbox will switch into 1080p for 1080p content, so just be aware of that. It will upscale all of your 1080p stuff to 4K, but it does run at the proper frame rate, so we're getting 24p here, and everything looks really nice and smooth. Uh, you'll also note here as we look at the server that we are playing back direct play here on both the audio and video with no transcoding going on here either. Now Plex supports live television. We've covered that in the past. You need a Plex Pass and a compatible TV tuner. I've got my local CBS affiliate here running, which is a 1080i broadcast, and it is doing some video upscaling here through the hardware transcoder on my Plex server. So this is coming over at 4K60 but it is preserving the audio. And I'll pull up my control panel here so you can see what we're getting. Uh, so it is doing some transcoding on the video, but it is passing the AC3 audio through directly to the Xbox. So you will see some of this transcoding going with live television. I also tested a 720p broadcast and it transcoded the video there as well. So if you have an Xbox kicking around, definitely take a look and see how Plex is working on it for you these days. I was really surprised to see all the things that I typically look for in a media player working now on the Xbox platform. That includes the frame rate switching and the color space switching along with the pass-through audio. Those were all things when I looked at this last a couple of years ago were not yet working fully on the Xbox platform. And of course, the Xbox has that built-in Blu-ray player and even the One S that I've got here can play 4K Blu-rays, although Dolby Vision is not supported on the Blu-ray player yet or on Plex. So hopefully that gets implemented at some point in the future. So let me know what your experiences are with Plex on the Xbox, and we'll be back again next month with another piece of Plex content. So stay tuned for that. And until next time, this is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Hot Sauce and Video Games, Brian Parker, Chris Allegretta, Tom Albrecht, Thomas Anfang, Jim Tannis, and Handheld Obsession. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month.
Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.